Hello, hello. We are the 17th October 2020. And this is uh, just before a few hours. I'm going to go and do an MPG test uh, with the 2020 Toyota RAV4 with the 2.5 cylinder. And I'm going to do a MPG test loop with the OEM filter and with the AEM uh, filter that is somewhat dry flow so uh, I'll have a, a base with the stock and then I'll move on with the filter uh, I may do the opposite some people tell me well why you always do stock and then the aftermarket so this time I'll do the aftermarket first and then I'll stop fill it up wait 30 seconds fill it up tally all the numbers and do the same thing with the stock filter and go about with the same uh, highway loop which is about 85 miles or uh, 136 plus kilometers and everything will be done at 62.5 miles an hour so um, stay tuned uh, you will have that as soon as I press stop all right so it's uh, probably past three o'clock in the morning and I uh, I'm done with my MPG test loop uh, with um, the Toyota RAV4 2020 and uh, I did the back-to-back -back tests between the OEM filter versus uh, the AEM Kianen-ish -ish filter. Uh, like always, it always seems to save fuel. I try that with other cars. So let's start with the... Um, the stock what I did this time I, I actually did the AEM filter before you could see the start time and time um, and I did right after I did the uh, OEM filter but uh, if we look some quick info you could see the temperature up here um, obviously because it was after midnight it was 19 October which is where right now Temperature, 4 degrees Celsius, 39.2 Fahrenheit. Humidity, you could see. Pressure for those who wish to know. And a uh, quick rundown of the vehicle. The vehicle estimate weight. Uh, that's with me in it. I was alone. Um, just a few, uh, like a, a backpack with stuff, and that's about it. Uh, the fuel I use, 91 Ultramar. I always use the same pump. Pump 7 Supreme. Um... And what I do is, um, once it clicks, I wait 30 seconds, I remove the nozzle, put it back in, and squeeze it again until it stops. And I do that with all the vehicles. And um, yeah, so I've been doing this basically forever since I've been doing this. And that's my uh, Modi Apparentus. So... As you could see, uh, the loop, the MPG test loop was 134 kilometers in miles, should be about 85 miles. The total fuel used, and these are the liters for 100K, US mile PG, UK miles per gallon. And uh, other important info, uh, the speed was at 100 kilometers an hour, 62.5 miles an hour. And I had the uh, transmission, transmission mode on Econ or Eco mode. On this vehicle, there's Econ, there's Normal, and there's Sport. So for both, they were. So the road condition was good, dry, no traffic. The tires are the Firestorm Destination LE, I think. And they were at 36 PSI cold when I checked the, the pressure order this morning. So um for both vehicles like that so if we go with the aem filter um the numbers actually did improve i have a quick rundown on my right uh, as you can see there's a little less fuel use liters per hundred k 42 50 my, uh, uk miles per gallon and uh, it's all the same thing eco mode so let's go see the quick rundown it'd be easier this way so all you could see so on the left side, you got the Toyota OEM filter on top and on the right, the AEM filter. And in the middle, you see all the improvements. 
regarding the leaders for 100k um, he uh, goes instead of being 5.83 liters for 100k it's 5.58 so there's an improvement of 0.24415 liters per 100k uh, there's an improvement of 1.76 miles per gallon in us and there's an improvement of 2.12 miles per gallon in uk uh, in total uh, the liters used for the same mpg test loop from a to b b to a same pump and everything so you're looking at a 0.333 liters of fuel less so for a uh, simple um bolt-on which is not that expensive uh, at amazon it cost me about with taxes and shipping everything like 65 bucks canadian uh it's good uh i did this test on uh, another vehicle uh, and had similar results a little less like one point let's say uh, two and 1.8 mpg better but still the improvements was there uh but i don't seem to get the the plus uh, four and five or six miles per gallon that some guys uh, say they do uh, i do this as honest as i can uh, by the way i'm not sponsored with no one this is all uh, sponsored by myself it's uh, all all the uh, the time and fuel and parts it's all uh, paid with my own pocket um one thing interesting before i, I close this video i notice it does uh, shift a lot because uh, the test i do it's not 100 percent uh flat there's a part, there's a leg of the uh of the test that it goes up and down up and down and on some other cars usually will stay always in the overdrive gear but on this one i don't know it's because it's on eco mode but it shifts a lot between eight seven and six uh so but again this is the most uh, frugal vehicle i never drove on this uh, MP mpg loop and uh, but i may have to try this in the future econ versus a normal mode and see if it makes a big difference uh, but I'm going to wait until I, I'm able to carry maybe one or two people and uh, I'll have the winter tires also because I, I think this vehicle may be very, uh, I don't know, I it, when it's light like this, it's good. But I feel if you add a trailer on it or a full family with gear, uh, you will suffer a lot on the uh, regarding MPG because it seems to downshift a lot. So before this video gets too long. I just want to say if you have a Toyota RAV4, Camry or whatever with the 2.5 liters um, vehicle uh, and when it's going to be time to change your OEM filter, maybe take a look at uh, what the aftermarket uh, has to offer. So thank you, take care and stay safe. Bye.